this month has been not fantastic. Month eight has been a difficult month in the sense that I haven't actually been able to train anywhere near as much as I would want to. There are a few reasons for this. One reason is this time of the year in Australia is the gymnastics competition season. So I had a competition in February, another one in March, and one at the very start of April. A week before the competition, I'll change my training so that I'm not pushing myself to failure. So I'm not gonna have DOMS and be weaker for the actual competition. Because of that, I've missed a significant number of training sessions. So that's not ideal. Obviously, if you're very serious about your training, you shouldn't miss any training sessions. The reason for it is my priority is gymnastics. I suppose on the other hand though if I was doing a lifting competition my gymnastics training might suffer in the short term just so I can perform well at the competition. It makes sense right? Now the second reason that my training has been a bit messed up was just after my second competition which was at the start of this month I got sick. I personally don't train when I'm sick. I don't know about you guys but I find that obviously you're weaker, so if you do train, firstly, you're not going to have a great session. Secondly, I get a bit depressed or annoyed about my strength levels because they're not as good as they normally are, so that's obviously frustrating. And I think thirdly, like you, know, you just want to let yourself recover so that you can get back to 100% as quick as possible. I feel if you just tried to keep training, you'd probably make yourself stay sicker for longer and hence there'd be a longer period of time where you're not training well. I just don't think it's a good idea. So that made me take about a, a week off. Also, just prior to the competition that I had at the end of this month, I had a little incident on the high bar, which, uh, you know, you can check out the video there if you want to see what happened. I uh, split open my shin, which was interesting because it was like a blunt hit, but it managed to split my skin open. Anyway, I had to get three stitches for that. Um, that wasn't really the problem though, actually. I just got really impressive bruising on both my legs. You can still sort of see on this one, there's quite a lump there. On this foot, there is um, uh, a little bit of a lump there as well. Yeah, so the stitches didn't actually really hinder me. It was more the bruising. The bruising really, I mean, it, it stopped me from, there were two, three days when I couldn't walk. Properly. Since this happened literally a week before my competition, I obviously just wanted to rest so that it could recover as quickly as possible. And by doing so, I was actually able to compete a week after that happened, which was great. I did floor, I did, I did every single apparatus, so that was really good. I was happy that in just a week's time I could recover and be back to normal, almost. So, there have been a few little hiccups. Consistency is potentially the most important factor of your training. So it's been a month with a lot of stuff going on and unfortunately I haven't been able to consistently train lifting. Therefore, I don't expect I've made great gains over the month. I may have even stepped back a little bit from where I was at the start of the month. I'm pleased with my snatch progress. Working 50 kilograms for five reps, five sets, is making me very confident that I'll smash my current snatch personal best of just 60 kilograms when I go heavy. The main thing I need to focus on is getting under faster. With these snatch off blocks, I'm still working on the same things as before. Getting under faster and trying to catch a little deeper. Any time I take a step implies the bar didn't travel directly upwards, which is either due to my brush or my pull. I consider any steps, backwards or forwards, unacceptable.
In my next set, I was really focused on being explosive and solid. Each rep was increasingly difficult as I was more fatigued, but I didn't want that to affect my form. This was the most focused set I'd ever done in Olympic lifting. This is the heaviest I've cleaned, though I did first clean it three months ago. I'm still not finishing the pull, and my elbows are very slow to rotate under the bar. This resulted in the problems that you'll see in the next two reps. Why am I even smiling after that horrid set? Here, I was going for a personal best military press of 65 kilograms, five kilos more than my previous best. I filmed this set from behind to demonstrate the main challenge I face with this exercise. My body is rising rather than my chest leading. I'm constantly fighting this, and it's happening because my quads are failing. Come on, hips down, chest up. Sit down, chest goes first. Come on, your back has to be tight. My current best back squat is 110 kilos. Yay! I was happy with the steady progress this month, making me confident that I'll hit new highs soon. Next month, disaster strikes, with a shoulder injury that forces me to avoid certain exercises. You will see how I work around this and make some massive gains in other areas. Thanks for watching, see you in month 9. Before we get into the video, let me just say one thing. The path to becoming the most well-respected lifter in the world is not an easy one, but it is definitely worth it. And